Hello. Welcome to another week in my life. I've got a special video coming up next week, but in the meantime I want to make it as good as I possibly can, because I've had it on my mind for a while now. So while that's cooking, here's everything that happened at the Cup of Chamomile household this week. Right after I uploaded my most recent video on Monday, I decided to start another book, which was the third and final volume of Mars Red. I got halfway through that volume and then I pretty much spent the rest of my night relaxing and drawing some stuff. I spent part of that time figuring out the design for a minor villain for my webcomic, which has been on my mind a lot lately. Uh, sorry in advance because there's gonna be more where this came from. <laughs> a majority of the character designs were based on different animals, and this character in particular was based on the rosy maple moth, and I tried replicating those colors in her design. Or what I have of it so far. Will I finish this in a reasonable time? Who knows? Place your bets. I started the next day off with some exquisite lunch. Just kidding, I don't remember what I ate. And then I continued to work on my painting that I, uh, need to finish. Like, really bad. I decided to take my time with one of the dragons in the painting, as you can see here. I was gonna try to go from light to dark, but then I thought, yeah, that's not what I want. So I went over the dragon's body with the darkest color first and filled in the scales. Of course it's not finished, and I want to let the paint dry before I add any more details. I love blending oil paint though, and I'm happy with how the dragon's tail is coming out. I won't say much else because I want to save that for the next part of my painting saga, but because this is supposed to be a sun dragon, I want the tail to have that sort of vibrant red color. Almost like fire, except not really. And when I reach the very last stages of the painting, I want to add some extra details with gold paint. I'll also apply silver and copper paint depending on the dragon. So the moon dragon is getting silver details, and the rock dragon will most likely get copper details, for instance. After spending some time on my painting, I finished Volume 3 of Mars Red, and immediately got to work on my reading journal. Even though I was satisfied by the ending, I am still bummed that Volume 3 is the last one. Needless to say, I think you can expect the series to get at least one mention when I list the best books I read at the end of this year. It's still a little too soon to finalize the top five, though. I mean, it's October, we still have two months left. I did entertain the idea of a top 10, but the very idea of that sounds overwhelming, even though this has been my best reading year in five years. Why are decisions so hard? Wednesday was probably the busiest day of the week. I started the day off with some cereal, which is funny because I had it for dinner the night before. Mmm, cereal. I probably spent the majority of my day doing work, including working on my painting, and finishing up the script for a chapter of my webcomic. Also, the writing on the back of my robe thing is true. I love Halloween. Teehee! Okay, so I will attempt to finish this chapter. Uh, I'll do everything I can to possibly finish it tonight, because if not, I'm going to cry. Uh, yeah.
Thursday was slightly less eventful. I worked on some scripts for a future video and had some TV playing in the background while I did that. It's weird because sometimes I require silence to get work done, and other times I need something in the back. Not sure why. Also, I had some quality toast with some quality jam, so that was nice. Also, I started work on another character sheet, because if I forgot to do that, I would be sad. Yeah. I don't have a lot of footage from Friday, but I had corned beef for lunch. Man, I love corned beef. And also, I got some more work done. Oh, what a good day it is today. Wait, what? What the? Uh, okay. One more cool thing I want to talk about is the new journal I got specifically for shows and movies and other things, because man, do I need to hold myself accountable for the things I watch or what? I wanted the cover to be somewhat different from my reading journal, but the general aesthetic is still the same. And it's gold. I live. That's about all that happened in the last week or so. I have about 200 pages left in The Witches of New York, and I am in love. Special thanks to the Dice of Truth, because if it wasn't for my dice collection, I would have read this book much later than I am currently. Anyway, if you made it to the end of this video and you want more drawings and other shenanigans from me, make sure to like and subscribe. And leave a plant emoji in the comments, if you made it this far. Because my mom likes plants. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching!